Hello friends, this video on p-block elements part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we'll talk about nitrogen. Nitrogen, as I told, the first element in the whole p-block at least special. So here also nitrogen is special. Nitrogen is VIP. Nitrogen has something special. The first speciality about nitrogen is it is least reactive in the group. In the whole group, nitrogen is the least reactive. And that's why we see a lot of abandoned nitrogen in the air. If anybody asks you nitrogen is least reactive or most reactive, if you don't remember, just think so much nitrogen is available in the air. If so much nitrogen is available in the air, that proves that nitrogen has to be least reactive. Right? We talk about the size, it is very small size. Very small size. We have seen that from nitrogen to phosphorus, there is almost 80% increase in size. Right? Since size is small, it has very high electronegativity. Very high electronegativity. It has also very high ionization enthalpy. Very high ionization energy. Why? Because if you see nitrogen is almost stable, half filled. It doesn't have d orbital. And that's why it has maximum covalency of 4 that we have seen. Correct. One more good thing is that it forms pi pi multiple bond with itself and with other small elements like carbon oxygen and here we are elements of this group they can't form pi pi bond why because their atomic orbitals are very large correct and since the orbital is very large they can't have effective overlap so this nitrogen forms p pi p pi multiple bond with nitrogen itself and also with uh, other elements of the same group uh, of uh, same size element. Another feature of this nitrogen is nitrogen exists as diatomic molecule. So if you see this nitrogen, it exists as N2, the triple bond here. And this bond is very strong. This bond is very strong. Almost it needs 949 kilojoule per mole of energy to break this bond. Right, this has very very strong bond, and these phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, these form single bond. If you talk about phosphorus, it will form single bond. Arsenic, it forms single bond, but nitrogen forms triple bond. This triple bond is really unique to the nitrogen. Right, but if you talk about the nitrogen single bond, this bond is weaker. This bond is very weak as compared to this is weaker than my phosphorus phosphorus bond. Why? But it doesn't exist typically. And there is a reason why it, it doesn't form a, a big catenation. It doesn't show the catenation property that much. Why? Because the nitrogen nitrogen bond is weaker than phosphorus phosphorus single bond, right? Nitrogen nitrogen single bond is weaker than phosphorus phosphorus single bond. Why? Because of the high inter-electronic repulsion, there's a repulsion, huge repulsion, right? But there's a nitrogen, there's a nitrogen, if you see, right? There'll be huge repulsion between these, these uh, electrons. And because of the repulsion, they are not strong. And because of this, the catenation property in nitrogen is less. Nitrogen is known to form a chain of 8 nitrogen at the max like this right something like this at the max H8 so the catenation properties not visible so, so I can write here is no catenation no or less catenation the tenth unique property of nitrogen is the covalency is restricted to we have studied this Covalency is restricted to 
4. Why? Because there is no d orbital. Because of absence of d orbital, they can't form d pi, p pi or bond. They can't form this kind of bond, right? That's why if you talk about uh, nitrogen with uh, this kind of thing, that is not possible. But for phosphorus, it is possible. Phosphorus, if you talk with phosphorus, it is possible because it has d orbital. So nitrogen, the maximum covalence is restricted to 4. Thank you. Visit examfa.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.